Hey guys, it's Angry Admin from AngrySysOps.com and as I am renewing my vSphere 8 certification, um, so I have a vSphere 7 and I want to have vSphere 8, I'm doing the course and I welcome you to do some labs with me. We are starting from adding an ESXi host to an LDAP server. Let's do it. So as you can see, this is new v, this is new ESXi 8 server. Let's log in. I did overview of vSphere 8 and I will link that videos in this video description. So you can see it looks a bit different. Now let's go to the task in hand. So we have to add this ESXi host to LDAP server. So we're going to manage and then we go to security and users. Oh, actually, we are on it already. Okay. And now you can see there's different things over here, like acceptance, acceptance level. So we can change settings here, authentication, certificates, users, roles, lockdown mode. Okay, we want to go to authentication and click join domain. Now, we need to provide domain name. We leave use authentication proxy unchecked. Now, the username, it has to be a user which has a right to join to domain. Once we have that, just to click join domain. And we see the task has been completed successfully. Okay, so now we need to test it out. So to test it, as you see, I am logging as root. Let's log out. And let's log in as a domain user. So as you can see, this is the domain I joined. And this is the user, uh, domain user. Yeah, task done. So what else can we do here? Uh, we can activate SSH and vSphere ESXi shell service. Okay, um, it's very important that in a production environment, keep the SSH and ESXi shell service deactivated. Um, so activate only if you need to troubleshoot the problem. And I think I share with you a PowerShell script, which check um, the ESXi host against those services and switch them off. And I will try to link that um, video uh, in the description of this video. Okay, so if we don't have a vCenter yet, uh, we can activate those services right on the host. So let's do it. Again, let's go to manage. And now we go to the tab called services. And now as you can see, we only see two services, but we know there's a more because it's 20 items. So we just need to scroll down and find this service. So this is SSH and this is the ESXi shell. You need to highlight this service and just click start. And also you can do the same for SSH. And now we see those services are running and we can SSH to the host. One more task regarding ESXi host is to configure the ESXi server as an NTP client. 
So to do so, we need to go and edit system settings. So system, and we can see that we have a tab called time and date. And here is NTP services. So we can edit that. Okay. And we have a few options. We can manually configure the time and date, or we can use the NTP protocol. So we click over here and we change the stop and start to stop and start with host. Okay. And now we need to provide NTP server IP. So for your environment will be different. For my environment is 172.20.10.2. Once we're happy, we can click save. We need to start the service because as you can see, the service is stopped. Okay, so again, we go back to services tab and now we need to find NTP service. Okay, so what we can do, we can go field and NTP D. and we have the demon here, it stopped. So now we just highlight it and click start. Okay, and let's check if it's running. So we can see that it says it's successful started. We can close that system and we see it's running. Okay, that's it for this lab. I hope it was informative. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click notification bell not to miss another lab video. See you, bye.